Yo, what up everyone? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy, the Crackhead. I'm wishing you all a wonderful and a lovely Thursday. The good thing about Thursday here in Israel is that um, it is our last working day. And whenever, you know, we're on Thursdays, everybody's happy. You know why? Because um, the weekend is smelling is just right in front of our eyes like it's before us it's just like you know those of you in other countries uh, once it's friday you're happy you're excited because um it's the weekend that's how we are here in israel um so um that's why every thursday it is like oh it's a sigh of relief why because friday it's weekend and um friday as you guys know in the evening is shabbat um, most people are not working. It's usually half day to those people who are working. Not a full day, not a full eight hours job. Some people work for four hours, some work for five hours. So um, unless those who are working in restaurants, in hotels, you know, that's a 24-hour job. Unless you have your own shift. You understand? Of course, you can work for 24 hours. You have maximum 10, 12 hours, even though when I came to Israel, um in 2010 um sometimes i remember a day i worked for 21 hours straight and there was another day i worked for 19 hours in fact as a newcomer in israel the least hours you would want to work is 12 hours why because um, the more hours you're working the more money you're making and um it's even like a kind of law that if you work more than eight hours you are required by law to be paid a um, percentage. After every one hour, after the official eight hours, your salary increases. So that's why a lot of people, you know, tend to work longer hours. So, of course, you don't have to blame them. No, you don't have to blame them. So, anyways, um, next week, 18th of July, 2024, to those of you who already knew or those who are close to me my family members it's gonna be my birthday and my birthdays actually are not days that i'm always you know excited about what is special in a birthday apart from the day you were born and even when you were born you never knew you were born <laughs> right it's not like when you were one day old after your parents um, your mom gave birth to you you knew you were born you would only know you were born only once you've gotten to the age of accountability to some people four five six some people even ten it will be surprising for you to understand that even at the age of 18 a lot of people haven't even reached the age of accountability because if they did if they knew to differentiate what is good and evil a lot of people wouldn't be doing, you know, committing crimes and doing evil. Currently, I'm watching um, this um, documentary on Netflix titled Mind Hunter. It's um, about, you know, special agents in the Federal Bureau of Investigation trying to find out that was actually in 1979. I think it's, it's based on um, a true life story. So some special agents you know, took it upon themselves to study the criminal mind. What makes somebody commit crime? Especially when we're talking about violent crimes. What makes people do this? So this is a documentary I'm watching. It is two seasons. I've just completed the first season. And it is very interesting. I would um, advise, you know, you guys, if you have Netflix, go ahead and watch it. You're going to be amazed. You're going to be surprised why people do the things they do i'm talking about people who do evil things but anyways um this is not about the mind hunter uh the tv show on netflix is about what is going to happen on the 18th of july 2024 that happens to me my birthday um you know people do say oh i wish you a happy birthday and um if i had something i would you know give to you look guys I'm not a fan of gifts. I don't care about gifts, all right? Uh, it's not in me to like be expecting 
birthday wishes on my birthday or certain types of gifts i don't care about that the only gift you can for now gift me next week 18th of july 2024 8 30 a.m nigerian time and 10 30 a.m israeli time is for you guys to join us live in this expository discussion we want to have with um el hanan bronstein yes el hanan bronstein is going to be joining us next week live 8 30 a.m nigerian time and um, 10 30 a.m israeli time to teach us expose to us the things that we've been reading all along in the book of Genesis that a lot of us are conflicted with. A lot of people are, did God really create this universe? I mean, to those who are atheists who do not believe in the creation story. But on that day, El Hanan is going to bring to you, he's going to, you know, give you an insight of what you believe as the Big Bang theory. To those of you who believe in evolution, which is good, okay? I don't think um, the Bible, when it was written, was trying to disapprove science because science has always been there right from creation. After all, water, chemistry, H2O. So science has always been there. These days, or since a long time ago, scientists are just trying to, you know, match, correlate, between science and religion. And this is what El Hanan Bronstein is going to be doing next week, Thursday, 18th of July, 2024. So uh, my birthday gift is for you guys to please tune in, log in, come and gain knowledge for yourself, not so that you can use it and preach to your church members. Sometimes, you know, not every knowledge that you get that you have to use it some knowledge you just gain them for yourself just to know because um no knowledge is lost knowledge can never be lost when i was in ukraine and um i started learning russian language a lot of people were asking me what am i going to be doing with russian language because of course as students when you come to ukraine your goal is not to live in ukraine forever you don't want to make ukraine as uh, your primary country of abode where you immigrate to and you want to live there um i don't think a lot of nigerians or africans or foreigners who are going to ukraine they go there for one thing or the other and once it's done they find their way back either to some other countries or to where they came from so when i was learning and i was very serious in learning russian language a lot of people were like what am i going to use it for so many foreigners are studying in english I told them, well, I just want to know the language for myself. And today, I thank God I did that because I'm here. Russian language has really immensely helped me. I cannot speak Hebrew. I think um, that's partly because I know Russian. A lot of people here speak Russian. So uh, you see, knowledge can never be lost. Now, guys, one second. So... Um, I encourage you guys, please, if you're going to be on Facebook and there is anything you want to gift to me on my birthday is for you to log in. 8.30 a.m. Nigerian time, 10.30 a.m. Israeli time, and let's, you know, talk about the creation of this universe. Let's talk about God. Let's talk about the world, how it was formed. Like I said, there are so many things you're going to learn from that. Not so that you can use it and preach to other people, but for your own self. Knowledge gain is never knowledge lost. Okay? So um, that's just what I wanted to present to you guys this morning. Thank you very much, our wonderful followers. It's your boy, the crackhead. And um, if you have watched this up to this point, all right, I want you to send me a DM because I want to give to you a recharge card data okay data is a basic community uh, commodity in nigeria everybody wants that everybody wants that so if you've watched it to this part send me a dm with the code data crackhead and i will understand the code is data crackhead if i do not understand 
and ask you, what does this mean? You can just tell me your live video this morning. All right. So if you want data, it doesn't matter how small or how big, at least it's something. Maybe you have money to buy data. It's OK, but uh, just a gift. You know, it wouldn't hurt your phone. Um, it wouldn't will hurt your network to have extra data with what you already have and what you can afford. So, guys, feel free to send me a DM, Data Crackhead. And, um, of course, I shall, as usual, bless you with that. It's your boy, the Crackhead. And stay tuned because um, I think um, today um, there are some videos I'm going to be uploading. Bye for now. Okay. What am I coming to do here? Let's see. No? Okay. Oh, hallelujah, it's telling me to go home, so I'm going home. A lot of you are wondering what that was I just did. So, if you are wondering what I just did um, every week I have to go to this ministry um, to sign um, make a thumbprint so that's what I do every Thursday around this time and today is Thursday I had to do that so right now I'm going back home probably to work out this is Ben Gurion Street named after one time Prime Minister of Israel David Ben Gurion. Most of you know who he was. And um, currently, our Prime Minister is Benjamin Netanyahu, pop popularly referred to as um, Bibi, or you can say Bibi Netanyahu. Let's go this way. Usually in the morning like this, uh, roads are busy because um, everybody's going to work. And so um, there is a lot of traffic. Oh, all right. I got to take this way. So guys, uh, are you going to join us next week, Thursday? Uh, once again, it's going to be my birthday. And please, guys, do not wish me a happy birthday before 18th. Some people say it's um, bad luck, but I don't believe in that. Like I said, I'm not a fan of birthdays. In fact, my birthday is um, to me. Um, it's just another day, like every other day. It's just another day like today. Only that um, with us, all right, this is the day I was born, and I'm going to be so and so years old. Well, congratulations to whoever is um, celebrating his or her birthday today. Congratulations. It wasn't easy when your mom was in labor. To those of you who have um, good fathers, it wasn't easy when your dad was anticipating your arrival, was anxious. If your mom is going to pull through, if you are going to pull through, it wasn't easy. So congratulations to you and um, to those parents who are doing amazing job, to those fathers who are exceptionally wonderful. Every father should be wonderful, but I chose to use the word exceptional. So to those fathers who are exceptionally wonderful, God bless you. Because um, a lot of parents have, um, in one way or the other, 
mistreated the children God gave to them. Yes, again, we still come to the topic of God because, um, yeah, even though we believe that we make babies um, with the right system in place, the right mechanism in place, we make babies. But, um, yes, as much as we make baby, babies, it's still God that gives them life. Yes, you may not want to believe in this or you may not want to agree to this, but um, I was brought up in a, a deep religious and Christian family. So my knowledge of God and what I can say about him shouldn't offend anybody. Just like if somebody's an atheist, if somebody doesn't believe in God, let the Bible, you know, talk about what it talks about these people. But we, as fellow humans, we shouldn't judge those who do not believe in God. Look, guys, whatever we know in this life, remember I told you knowledge is very important. Most of us Christians, or most of us who are, you know, were or are opportune to hear about God, about religion, about the existence of heaven or hell, we should understand that we are just lucky. Do you understand? We are lucky, we are fortunate, and we are privileged. Because there are people who would really want to know what we know. But nobody takes this gospel to them. Even though in, uh, we have social media, internet everywhere, there are people in the jungle who do not have access to the internet. Or what about those in the villages who do not really care about technology. And you might think, but Christianity has reached everywhere, my brother and sister, it hasn't reached everywhere. This world is so massive. There are so many things, there are so many tribes that you know people are being discovered now. People that are living in places you would never believe that a human could live there. So if those of us who happen to believe in God who happen to know that heaven and hell, uh, hell is real, we shouldn't judge those who do not believe. A lot of these people, maybe they believed in the past, but they stopped believing because of the same Christianity. A lot of people stopped believing in God because of what is going on in this world. Okay? So it is not their fault. There are people whose faith, whose belief are so strong, whereas there are other people whose faith and belief are not as strong as yours, so that with every little wind of change, they change. That's why, you know, in the Bible, as Christians, Jesus Christ admonished us that we should, you know, um, be strong as the rock. Let your foundation be strong. Because if your foundation is not strong, any little thing can shake you. And a good example is what is about to go down next week Thursday on the 18th of July. The things you are going to hear, I would advise guys. My name is The things you are going to be hearing on the 8th, again, just hear them as knowledge. You do not have to agree with everything you're going to hear on that day. In fact, you do not have to agree to anything. But, you know, you could pick one thing out of whatever, the whole lot, that is going to be said. That's why even Paul the Apostle admonished that you can listen to everyone, you can test every spirit, but there are certain things you can pick out. Your pastor may be preaching a two-hour sermon. Trust me, in that two-hour sermon, if he doesn't watch it, he might. He might just make a mistake in one part of the sermon. He might make a mistake or he might say things he shouldn't say. So that's what the Bible says. Test every spirit. All right? Pick the ones that agrees with your spirit. Pick, uh, pick the ones that the Holy Spirit can bear witness. All right, this is the truth. And other ones, you just, you know, sieve them as if you're sieving wheat. That's how you should do. But above all, if you really want to know about God truly for yourself, then you have to study the Bible for yourselves, really. Because... Um, People come with different doctrines. Let it be that you study the Bible and you understand it the way you want to understand it, not the way 
other people want you to understand it by the way they interpret and explain the Bible to you. So read it for yourself, understand it the way you want to understand it so that if at the end of the day, you will have no one to blame because as it is these days, a lot of people will be blaming their pastors. Yeah, it was my pastor that preached this. It was this one that preached this. I heard this from this person. So read the Bible for yourself. Anyways, once again, if you watched us and you happen to watch to this point and um, you need mobile data, feel free to send a DM with the code data crackhead. Okay, I will understand. If I ask you what is this, you can just explain for the live broadcast this morning. So boy, the crackhead, bye for now.